Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. We're going to be accompanied by some dogs. We got stereo here. We got a little dog on the left and a sound like a medium sized or bigger dog on the, on the other side of me. So you're going to have stereo dogs barking. But what I do is I want to show you something here. How long has this been in? This Carapia, this is Carapia Utility Ground Cover that the homeowner installed himself. What I did is I installed the subsurface drip to it and he installed all the Carapia himself. He didn't put in plugs, he used the, uh, the sod form of the Carapia and this is what we have. He says he waters it, you water it once a week, seven, seven minutes? Once a week, seven minutes. And you can see how thick this is. You got some areas that have um, the clover, you got over here on his backside, you have a lot of the carapia that's got flowers to it. And this is uh, November, and we still got some flowering action happening on the shady side. But you can see that this carapia, the utility ground cover, once it takes takes off and it's established itself, it takes, it goes, doesn't take over, but it grows very prolifically. It goes along on the side of the house and stuff like that. So you can see how thick this is from the standpoint of how it grows. It doesn't grow up tall, but it stretches out. As you can see, it's tendrils over here. It's stretching out over the, um, the patio here. All these long tendrils from the Carapia growing out from the main sources here. And he planted it all in between uh, the flagstone. You see how it's taken off in the, between the flagstone. So you said you cut the water off in August? Uh, yeah, just for a bit, yeah. All right, so he said he's cut back his watering just to see how, how, how much he can get by with watering. And uh, the only areas that were kind of detrimental was around where the stepping stones are, probably have reflective heat. So they had to get some more water to it. But the main yard and stuff like that, this is like a north facing, so that kind of helps out from the standpoint of not having it dry out too much. But just to show you, and like we have these challenges with the, uh, with the clover, but the client said he's good with it. He's not worried about it. He can, a lot of that stuff was left over from, that was down in the ground prior. So he's not have a big issue with it. Got a mullen borgia and some other plants along the outside perimeter of the property. But all in all, homeowner did a fantastic job in installing this. And as you can see, once it takes off, there's hardly any maintenance at all to this carapia. So if you're thinking about it, especially here in Southern California, it may be a good idea for you to check it out. Ed Wallace, Midwest Landscaping. Tips and ideas, www.uniqueenvironment.com. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit that notification bell because you never know when your boy may be in your part of town. Thanks for watching.